Books for Young Readers, simply put, change lives. This year's finalists for the National Book Award for Young People's Literature explore what it's like for young people and people of all ages to tackle grief, anger, and discrimination, whether in a magical realm or somewhere closer to home. Through prose and illustration, these books portray characters on journeys of self-acceptance and self-discovery, and some that have even changed the course of history. The panel chair for this year's National Book Award for Young People's Literature is Dr. Jewel Parker Rhodes, the award-winning author of several books for adults and young people. She is the Virginia G. Piper Endowed Chair and Narrative Studies Professor at Arizona State University. So, as you may know, I am not Jewel Parker Rhodes. I'm Lillian Rivera, a young adult author, middle grade, graphic novelist, all that stuff. But you don't need to know that because I'm here representing Jewel Parker Rhodes, who is in the hotel right now, sick. And so I just want to say just a few words about Jewel, who was our leader, our fearless leader. She led with compassion, with generosity, and most importantly, with love. And so I just want to share some of the words that she was meant to say here tonight. And I'm really grateful that I'm able to represent her and represent our team. And, um, and also just, this is one of the most important awards, the young people's literature. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> so these are just some of the words that Jewel wanted to mention today. Um, as a group together, we all learned from each other, deepened our critical understanding our common humanity, and our empathy. We became a circle of friends, a lifeline for each other, a loving and thoughtful book group who was discussing and searching for great books that would leave lasting legacy and impact in our literature. And I also would love to just add that we, yes, we read countless many books, hundreds of books, but also if you're a creator and you created anything these past few years, you've already won because how is it that we're able to even embark in this journey with all these obstacles? So I give you all awards. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to, these are, oh, thank, please join me in thanking their fellow judges, including also Becky Albertalli, who's unable to come today. We love you, Becky Albertalli, Joseph Buchak, Megan Daishi Goel, and me, Lillian Rivera. <laughs> the finalists for the 2022 National Book Award for Young People's Literature are Kelly Barnhill, The Ogress and the Orphans, Algonquin Young Readers, Workman Publishing. Sonora Re Reyes, The Lesbianas Guide to Catholic School. Balser and Bray, HarperCollins Publishers. Tommy Smith, Derek Barnes, and Dawood Anyabile, Victory Stand, Raising My Fist for Justice, Norton Young, Norton Young Readers, W.W. W. Norton and Company and Saba Tahir, All My Rage, Razor Bill, Penguin Random House, Lisa Yee, Maisie Chen's Last Chance, Random House Books for Young Readers, Penguin Random House. This year's National Book Award for Young People's, li People's Literature goes to Sabah Tahir, All My Rage.
This is not two minutes. I'm sorry, I should have given it to my editor, but I, I didn't think I would need to. Um, thank you so much to the National Book Foundation and to the judges for this award, to my fellow finalists and nominees. It has been an, the honor of a lifetime to read and hear your words. I am the first Muslim and Pakistani American woman to win this award. In this category, so I must honor my Muslim sisters in too many places to count who are fighting for their lives, their autonomy, their bodies, and their right to live and tell their own stories without fear. Sisters, may you rise and may you be victorious against the oppressors. This feels like, uh, like an impossible dream. My grandfather, he was a sharecropper with a fourth grade education. My grandmother was illiterate and my parents came to America almost exactly 40 years ago to the day. And like too many immigrants, they, were, they worked so hard. They worked themselves to the bone. So, so many of our parents' dreams died so that the dreams of my generation could live. To my mother and father, your love and prayers and sacrifice have lifted our stories beyond my imagining. Barakallahu fikum. May God bless you. Sorry. Uh, I told my dear friend and agent, Alexander Machinist, about this book while I was actually under contract for a different project. And she, she could have said, don't you dare. But instead she said, write it, and I will deal with the rest. Alexander, thank you for believing in me. Everyone at Penguin Young Readers, school and library, marketing, publicity, and sales has been incredible, has supported me through like so many blown deadlines, <laughs> including the next one, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, thank you to my, my wonderful editor and advocate, Ruta Rimes, who put great trust in my story instinct. My publicist, Shanta Newland, who answers like really dumb questions my publisher, Casey McIntyre, and our fearless leader, Jen Loja. You are a remarkable and inspiring team. My greatest love to my family, Tala Abbasi, Nicola Yoon, Haina Karim, Renee Atia, Lauren DiStefano, Abby Wen, Adam Silvera, and Gila, who got me through this weirdly difficult year with tea, samosas, hugs, and cat videos. To my brother, Amir, who has saved my life more times than I can count, and who has taught me everything worth knowing. And I thank my, my children who are, who are here tonight and who have since birth shared me with these imaginary worlds with such, such generosity of spirit. All good things are for you. Um, I'm sorry, I'm almost done. Uh, my husband, Kashi, insisted that I tell this story, the story of all my rage, even when I was afraid to. And for the, the 15 years that it took to write it, he walked with me through the darkest night of it. Kashi, thank you for all the Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> and there was a lot for helping me vanish into the attack, for reminding me that, that my spirit is stronger than my fear, and for being a witness to my life. It is an honor to witness yours. Thank you to every librarian an educator and bookseller who has put my work into the hands of a young person who needs it. And last, my beautiful readers have told me my books make them feel less alone. You make me feel less alone. I have been a misfit and an outcast and lonely and lost, but when I write for you, I am none of those things. And I thank you with all my heart for that gift. Thank you.